Today we will be talking about protein structure. There are four levels of structure, primary, secondary, tertiary, and quaternary structure. Primary structure starts with the mRNA transcript. Here, my hands are the ribosomes, which bring the tRNA to the mRNA and attach the peptides together. This initial peptide chain is what we call the primary structure. Then we come to the secondary structure. There are some elements we understand, such as the beta pleated sheets, which are formed through hydrogen bonding, represented by tape and folded paper here, and alpha helixes, the curled ribbing, which also forms through hydrogen bonds. Next, we have tertiary structure, which refers to interactions such as hydrophobic interactions. Here, the paper towel shriveling from the water into a ball. In proteins, this often causes amino acids to often move to the inside of a protein or stay embedded in a membrane. Disulfide bridges, which you will shortly see with this blue tape, is an example of a bond that can help shape and hold two parts of a structure together. After tertiary structure, we now have quaternary structure, which is the interaction between multiple protein domains. So, as you can see here, there is hydrogen bonding, the clear tape, keeping these uh, two protein domains together. And now we have our finished protein, held together by many different types of interactions. Disclaimer, protein folding is not fully understood.